one. Here Two. we go. I'm Charles. I'm Eric. And this is our NHA. You got all that right? I got that right. This is the NHPA NH blog. There we go. He can't say shit. <laughs> you, you're tongue tied today or I what? Very tied. This is our NHPA vlog for the week. Um, we got a lot to talk about tonight. Um, between the Christmas parade, stuff we're doing for season one and two, which we'll get into a little bit later, but yep. we got a lot of stuff we can go over today. So stay tuned, enjoy, and uh, leave your comments where it should be. Yeah. So you all know about our paranormal media. Uh, that was my gay phone. Um, <laughs> but you all know about New Hampshire paranormal media. We also have Andy Imports media out there yep. as well. Yep, yep. Um, just uh, stay focused to those pages because we're going to post a lot of stuff that we do on there. Uh, like Chuck was just saying a few minutes ago, we have a Christmas parade coming up this weekend. Yes, we do. December 5th. We're going to be in Manchester, New Hampshire's uh, parade. Yep. Um, we're going to be handing candy out to the little kids and stuff yep. like that. Um, we're going to decorate our truck, do the best we can. Yep. Um, we're going to have most of the team with us. Um, some of us will be in the vehicles. Some of us will be out, and out walking around handing candy canes out. So this is supposed to be a really good parade. Yep. It's one of the best in Manchester. It's supposed actually, to be the largest parade. It's one of the biggest, yeah. actually. Yep, yep. Um, and they do it every year. This is our first year in it. So yep. um, we want to hope to see everyone down there who pays attention to us and uh, wants to meet us at the end of the parade. There's going to be a meet and greet. Yes, there will. If you're down there to meet us, uh, talk with us. And if you have any paranormal claims or anything you want to talk to us about, feel free. Me and Chuck, my wife, and the rest of the team will be down there to show our support to the city and stuff like that. They're helping us out a lot by getting us out there. So yep, yep. Um, if there's anything you want to know about us, December 5th will be the day to find out who we are and what we do. Yep, absolutely. So, we also had the uh, Valley Street Cemetery we just did the other day. We took the whole team out there and did like a little Thanksgiving pre- Yeah, we did a pre-Thanksgiving investigation. investigation. That was pretty cool. That went out, that went without a bang. Um, bang, bang, yeah, big time, boom. Yeah. <laughs> big bang oh, boom. was that you behind the stone? Sorry, Chuck, I didn't mean to get that out there. Um, anyhow, um, that one went, that went good. The um, tech crew did wonderful. Um, yes, everything got set up the way I wanted it. Everything yep. went the way it was. It wasn't really an investigation to show on TV. It was to get my team out there. Um, you know, a lot of us weren't doing, haven't been doing much. It's no, with that time of the year where you got October, <clears throat> November, and December. Those are real big holiday months. And a lot of things. Time to get the tech crew prepped up for season three. Get them ready to, uh, you know, bigger and better things that we're going to be doing. So. Oh, yeah. So we're working we on a lot it. of stuff. A lot of stuff. Um, but the cemetery went well. Yes. Um, there was a couple issues. But uh, as far as I know, they weren't big enough to set anything back or... Nope. Put them on the line or anything like that they banged yep. it right out yep. um so we also have a very big announcement for you guys um we're actually in the process now of getting season one and season two ready because we're going to be going on manchester community public television um and we'll let you know at a later date and time when the, you know our air shows are going to air but that's a that's a big step for us we're working on getting season one pretty <clears throat> much together it's almost completed once yep. season one is completed, they're going to air our episodes every other week. So the first yep. episode will air for two weeks, and the second episode will air, air for two weeks. Yep. Every other week, they're going to play it. Um, yep. So as soon as we get date, the date that we're going to send it in, and we'll get you times and when and how to watch it. Yes. Um, so if you've been very interested in or you've been a <clears throat> fan that's been keeping up on our page, and you're this is something you've been looking forward to, here you go. If yep. you have Manchester Public Television, you know the channels 22, 23, and 16. Yep. Those are the ones we'll be on. We'll only be on 23. Only on 23? Okay, so we'll only be on 23. <laughs> Screw 22 and 16. Okay. Those are gov uh, city government channels. City government shit. City government shit. Shit, shit, more shit, people. Keep that in mind. That's our motto. Uh, so. Anyway. There is no language. There is this no is, language. This, this, is, this, is, this is straight out. You know, you don't like it, don't watch it. Yep. Um, it's like humping a dry horse. Anyway. Humping a dry horse? Yeah, it's like a horse with no water, remember? Anyway. Dude, get it right, will you, you bald chinny? <laughs> if you're going to say a joke, say it right, or don't say it at all. Because we're not the ones that are going to be laughing at the joke. We're going to be laughing at you. That's cool. No, it's not. What do you mean, no, it's not? Shut up. <laughs> um. But um, other than that, I mean... Uh, those are pretty big announcements. Uh, we're going to have the, uh, obviously, we're going to, we have the uh, Christmas coming up for our families, so we're going to be, you know, 
yeah for the next week or so we'll be yeah so we're kind of like what you call on vacation right now for an hpa because we got a whole, no, don't have a whole lot going on right now because it's the holidays yeah but there's, after no, the, there's no point in traveling during the holidays no. because it just makes things a lot harder and this is our break town this is our breakdown season this is where we can get everything prepped and ready for the next season yep so you know it, it, so we got those people out there that are in a hurry to see what we got to see well you know what we can only move so fast um, there's only so many of us that are doing things. Yeah. A lot of us work. Plus, yeah. being sick that we have, we've, we've actually had to slow down a little bit, you know, because mm -hmm. we're about, you know, health and safety, family first. And yeah, and, uh, and with the way the economy is right now, a lot of us can't take time off because no. if we take time off, we can lose our jobs. Yeah. And jobs are hard to find. Yes, absolutely. So, bear with us. We'll get the stuff out there when we can get it out there. Um, this, I've been getting a lot of rude remarks and stuff saying, oh, NHBA sucks. Well, good for you. You think we suck? Then find somebody else. You don't like watch. it? Take the dislike button, hit the door. That's what I got to say about that. Yeah, we're working our butts off. To, you know, <laughs> we're, we own New Hampshire Paranormal Media. That's our own network. So it's hard to run a network. And we don't only run one network, we run two. e and Imports Media. Uh-huh. So we're running two networks, plus we have... Our own talk show, New Hampshire Ghost go, go Stories. Ghost stories. Yeah. yeah, look at I'm fucking this all up. We got New Hampshire Ghost, ghost stories, stories right here. There's a big sign. See the lettering right there. Soup right there. We're good. Um, you can't miss it either. No, it's Dang. a big poster. Can you see it? Or do you need glasses? Um, no. Um, as I was saying, anyway, um, it's it's a lot of prep, a lot of time consuming. Yes. But um, I've been reading some posts the last couple of days, and I've been getting a lot of good feedback on yes. the NHPA vlog. Um, we're getting a new what I like too, Eric is <clears throat> we don't have a lot of our new stuff even out there and there's people like I'm I'm, I'm gonna monitor the New Hampshire Paranormal Media page last couple of days and new likes, new comments, like what you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. I mean just your intro alone for New Hampshire Ghost Stories has hit the roof. Two hundred and fifty or two hundred and sixty views, something like that. Yeah. Just people watching a minute and a half. They're like eating it up like yeah. wildfire. It, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, we are going to do a couple things too. It's not something we're going to do all the time, but we're, from time to time we're going to invite people onto this show. Yes. Um, it's only going to be once in a blue moon. Yeah. Um, and me and him are working on that. Um, when we get done what we want to do and invite who we want, there's two people that I'm anxious to get on here. I really want to get them on here. I really want to I agree. find out what's going on and yep. how they're doing. And I want them to say what they need I to say to agree. tell the world. There's, yes. no, there's no editing in this. There's no bleeping anything out. If we make a mistake, we keep it on there because people want And drama. trust me, if you don't believe that statement, look at the last two shows we've done. We, we are blunt to the point, and that's just the way it is. You sure? I don't know yet. Did you get all that out? I don't know. Did I? Shut up. <laughs> uh, yeah, Chuck, preacher. Listen. Yeah, here we go. Listen, I'm not going through this shit again. Um, but, any hoot. Any um, hoot. Any hoot. What the? F is it Shut any up. hoot? <laughs> Anyhow. There we go. That's better. We got class clown over here trying to correct me when he can't say half this shit is correct himself. Did I say that right? No, I didn't. No, Shut you up, didn't. Eric. Um, on to the next. On to the next. No, so, um, what is it you were going to spit out? No, I just, like like you said, you know, there's a lot of good things going right now for us. And after the holidays, we're going to start cranking stuff out, get stuff ready for season three. Um, and hopefully we'll get you some new stuff as quick as we can. Like you said, we're, we're working on it. We're just two of us that, you know, do our own stuff at this point. So... You know, sit back, and enjoy, and, and hope you you like what you see. And like you said, like you said before in previous, leave those comments. You know, and if you dislike what we say, hey, that's cool too. We don't. We we're looking for the negative uh, as well. Yep. Because we feed off it. The more negative you give us, the better we're going to get on it, and the worse we're going to get. You know, I hate to say it, Eric, but I, I got to say this, and it's been I've been wanting to say it. Then spit it out. I think we should just turn around and like give the people what they want. And what's that? I'm sorry, you're sitting here just, with clothes on. Well, I didn't say, no, nah, dude. Just, <laughs> you see this in a Speedo, you better run. Oh, but anyway. the fucking Speedo again. No, but seriously, though, I think we should just turn around and give them what they want. I mean, they want the, not the, the hard nose like we do. You know what I mean? I mean, I just think it's sad to say, but I think we should, like, turn it up or not. Whether you decide you ever do it or not, but... Well, explain. What the hell you mean by give, turn it up or not? Okay. We're already giving them what they want. The last show... Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, but you had talked about 
if if the you know if you have like if you do something stupid on YouTube and they get like a million hits, but then you get the the guy that does it, and you know, so I say we just give them what they want. But I don't want to do that. Why I don't want to give them real shit, not fake shit, more. No, we give them no, we give them real <laughs> shit too, but we make it fucking comical. Dude, we're already a bunch of comedians as it is. Well, Dude, have you true. seen our show? Oh, I have seen oh, it. Oh, I'm holding this thingy in my hand. Dude, you already know what it was because I tested you on it two weeks ago and you're calling it a thingy. Oh, I don't feel like saying what it is. <laughs> but you need to explain to people what type of device you're holding, not just put, hey, this is my thingy. <laughs> or you're hurting EVP. No, but I'm just saying, though. You know, I mean, it. We we are just strictly business, comical. You know, be like everybody else. Why not? Dude, we're doing it right now. <laughs> what, do you want me to hire a bunch of fucking cows and bring them down in my basement and show them on TV? Listen, if you bring a cow down here, I sure to hell ain't milking it. I never told you to dude, look at it. You jank bat. You just... But anyway, anyway um, back on topic. I'm sorry. I just had to shoot that out. I would just, you know, we should just... Give people what they want. We are giving them what they want. We're giving them what they need to see, what they need to know, and what they need to hear. I don't want to be the next moron driving down the street with a baseball bat out my fucking window and knocking mailboxes down. I talking about It's that. been done. Do something different. Give it what they want. And quiet over there. <laughs> uh, and now on a serious note, too, I just want to say that, uh, that that shooting going on in California. Yeah. I want to give our our heartfelt apologies and uh, a heartwarming apologies for what? Would you do it? No. Man. Uh, why would you apologize? Because uh, there's morons in the world shooting up All people. Right. No, you know you're 100. You know true. there's morons in the in the world just shooting up people. You know you got that thing that happened in Denver, Colorado too. The guy walks into a into a uh, Planned Parenthood and starts shooting them up because he doesn't like people having abortions. Well. I understand that, but why go in there and start shooting innocent people? Dude, the world's crazy. You know, all, it's, so, uh, it's another way of looking for attention or pity me. You know, you got those people that are like that, and and it's sorry to say, it's in everywhere we live. It's sad because you know you got families that now aren't going to have their their people their, for the holidays. And people people are uh, saying, well, I want to move out, I want to move away. Well, no matter where you live or where you go, <laughs> the problems go with it. Shut up. Um, you could be in your house right now and get somebody could break down your door and shoot you. It doesn't matter if you're here or in Hawaii. You know, it's going to happen. Why Hawaii? I'm just making, you know, I could have said like California or Florida, but. Nothing ever happens in Hawaii. Well. They're always drunk. That's true. <laughs> but dog's always busy down there. Dog the bounty hunter. Good for dog the bounty hunter. What the hell has he got to do with this? We don't hunt dogs. I know, I'm just saying. <laughs> But no, uh, I just you know. No, but you are right. Um, everything the, going on in it's, it's for attention, you know, and this ISIS thing, you oh know. People got this all blown out of proportion. You know, you can take it how you want, you know. But yeah, there are some Americans who are against that, and there are Americans that want it. Hey, all to you, you know. But at the same time, no matter where you are, there's going to be terrorists. There's going to be war. Yeah. Deal with it, you know. As Americans, we do what we got to do. Yes. Um, if we need to be there, we need to be there. If we don't need to be there, then we'll stay the fuck out of there. No, absolutely. Um, because, you know, obviously we have our president who, <laughs> you know, I'm not too kindly of him. I, don't get me started on that. Uh, he, you know, he's doing his thing, you know, <laughs> but at the same time. He's going to get us killed. So I don't think, kill. no offense, you guys can take it out there, all you politics out there, you Democrats, you whatever, whoever you are. You can take this however you want to take it. But no matter what president that starts running for office, there's no point. No. Don't even call yourself a president because you're only getting into this for um, political debate on, yeah. oh, we should get rid of the foreign people or we should start exiling these people or... or Let's nuke them. What the hell's up? The with only that? candidate I like, honestly, out of all of them, is Donald Trump. And I only <laughs> because of some of the stuff he he has said. But still, if he gets into office, dude, he's going to start a civil war in the United oh, yes. States. I know. But you know what? Because for the people who came to this country who want to try and make a living That's and right. want to work, yep. are the ones that should, that should stay. stay. But then you got those ones that want to come in here just to be here and move. Look at the fact they want to send 500 refugees into this city and feed them and clothe them and shelter them for two years straight. Yeah, but I could. They should do a scanning. Which? But scanning. you get somebody like you that's hurting for money. 
or needs help or if they have to go down to the state, they won't help you. But they want to send 500 rifles, which the state just declined, for two years. Dude, they're going to support them, feed them, clothe them. Give them what they want. Give them what they want. But God forbid somebody like us that really would need the help, we go in there, they tell us, screw you. Let's just wear a pound of gold on us, fill up our hands with jewelry, drive a BMW, we'll go to the state and they'll give us whatever we want. <laughs> I've seen it happen. No, he's you. right. He is 100% correct. <laughs> But the, people like you and me, we can't get nothing because, well, we make too much. Yeah, okay, you make 1400 a month, and what do you make? Nothing. People that have lived here their whole lives, and they want to help everyone. It's crazy, country. you know? So, as you can see, there are things that we disagree with. You know, me, no matter what president comes into office next year or the year after that, whenever they're going to start, isn't going to help this country at all. No. It's going to make it worse because... Everything that's been done since 9-11, yeah, a lot's happened, and we've done a lot. We've cleaned yeah. up a lot of stuff, but at the same time, the more we clean up, the more things get worse. Yeah. Um, fuel has gone down. You know, i got to hand it to the president. No, I, know, I do. I don't know what he did to do that, but for almost 10 years, gas was over $3 a gallon. Oh, yeah. So, it's now under $2. Yeah. In most places. Zip. Right. Right. So, um... But no, you're right. Gas is like two dollars a gallon. And on Facebook the other day, somebody that I'm friends with on Facebook, I won't say their name because I don't have permission. Where he is right now, a dollar sixty-five a gallon. He's getting ready to travel. A dollar sixty-five a gallon. He was looking at the gas pump before he was leaving. So and I'm like, are you kidding me? And they're even talking by that's going to go down even more. It's going to go down even more, but at the same time. But then what goes up? You know what I mean? Cost of living certain right people now are saying terrible. Certain people say if Russia gets in where ISIS <laughs> is, they're going to control the fuel content. And then we have to go through Russia for the fuel. Or however they're saying it. I, the United States is going to find a way to get I look at it this way. Bum! They're going to find a way to get what we, if we If we can't get what we want, we've got to start a war. That's the problem with the United that, States. Exactly. Oh, well, we need more of this. We need more of that. We have it. Stop putting it on reserves. Yep. Start taking care of the American people instead of taking care of people that are coming in here. You know, it's the American people that are starving. American people that need the help. And that's the sad part is we're like everybody else will feed and hunger, everybody else. But what about the people here? Another statement, I know it's kind of off topic a little vets. bit. But look at the Thank you. The veterans. They fight for this country. And they're, they can't come in here and get jack squat. They're out there doing this to save our country, and when it comes time to take care of them, the other day our I'm, government's like, no, you did what you needed to do, get the hell off. I'm, I'm going to pay my phone bill, I won't say where, but I was going to pay my phone bill yesterday, and I see this guy around town, he's got a wheelchair, cap says World War II veteran, both his legs blown off, and he looks like he lives in a garbage can. You know, and I sat there and talked to him one day, and he's like, he's telling me how he doesn't, you know, the, the help's not there. You know what I mean? But he's a Vietnam vet. I ain't going to say what I did before, but I met somebody too. Half his body is full of melon. He can't get nothing. Yeah. It is what it is, dude. You know, Let's take care of everybody else, but screw us. The government is for the rich. If you're <laughs> rich, you get what you want. If you're if, poor. And what they do is the middle class, and this is the problem, the middle class... <laughs> is now struggling yeah because the rich is taking from the middle class to i mean there's no there's no there's no there's no democracy in anything 80 percent of america is one paycheck away from being and living in a dumpster you go working at a fast food joint seven bucks dude what's seven bucks an hour it's nothing no you can't even do what are you gonna do what happens is now they're looking to raise the the the, the minimum wage to ten bucks yeah. All right. And see, people don't seem to understand that. Oh, I'm going to be making ten bucks an hour at McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. but what's going to happen is once you get that ten bucks, all the companies are going to raid your food. Yep. They're going to raise all the. They do it all the time. Yep. They don't want you to make more than what food. So that way, all right, I make ten bucks an hour. I make four hundred bucks a week. Yeah, you know what's going to happen? People are going to boycott it. They're either going to do two things: they're still going to work there. I mean, I eat there, or they're going to boycott it, and the place is going to close down. So. Everybody that complained about making ten bucks an hour is going to be out of a job. Because once you make the more, you, if you make more than what you, you have to survive on, they're going to raise the food cost. I'd rather make seven dollars an hour and be guaranteed. Dude, a job. I told my kids by the time they're my age, they're going to be paying ten, fifteen bucks for a gallon of milk. Oh, I guarantee it. 
It's it's already five six bucks a gallon, depending on where you go. Some places are nine bucks. I mean, Hawaii, look, I think is like ten or fifteen dollars for a gallon of milk. Look at New York City. Cigarettes here are anywhere between six to eight bucks a pack. Yep. Depending on what you buy, you go to New York City, it's anywhere from nine to fifteen bucks a pack. It's over a hundred dollars for a carton of cigarettes. Yeah, it's it's sad. So, but I'm not a smoker, so I don't have to worry about nope, that. Me neither. It's I mean, we're getting off topic a little yeah, bit, but, but that, that's just some things I had to get off my chest. No, it's it's true. It's getting bad out there. Um, so, I got friends and family that you know having a hard time struggling. You know, but as the war goes, you know, if you're out there to support the United States, all good. I'm I'm I support my country. Absolutely. I mean, 100%. yeah, I'm not out there fighting. I don't have a gun. I'm not out there running at my mouth saying this is what needs to be done. Nope. Because if that was the case, I'd be there. Yep. But I'm not there. So I don't really have a say in what goes on. I just got to be a normal American every day, pay attention to what goes on in life. And if it comes down to where the United States gets invaded, then I'm prepared to do what I have to Two do. Two things are guaranteed in life, taxes and you die. Yeah. That's it. Debt and taxes. Death and taxes. Yeah. And like I say, you live once. Enjoy it while you're here. Because you don't get a second chance. Twelve years I've lived every day like it's my last. Because so. you know what? You could be. We could be talking here. Tomorrow I could get a phone call saying you're you died. You're you get a phone call saying I'm gone. It is what it is. Well, we could be just as soon as this show cancels. We both. What are you gonna have us assassin? No, I no, I never. Right. Shut up. <laughs> um, so, but we got a lot of things going on. Yes. Um. So you know, just pay attention to what we do. We're gonna talk about stuff when we can talk about stuff. Yep. There's a lot of shit going on. Yep. Um. People take things differently. People take things out of proportion. It's going to happen, but you know, we don't care what you think. We're going to post this. Yes. If you don't like watching it, then press that pause button, hit the X button on your computer, and find something else to watch. If it's not for you, then oh well. This is rated R. We're going to say what we want. We're We've gonna... got some good, good feedback though yes. on these shows and people like it and that's what they want to see so as long there's as not too many people that there are people out here who do this stuff for a living but see we're in our basement yep. we don't have a director we don't have a producer telling us we can't say this shit we're not on a mic all day we're not hired by somebody to just say hey come here do this this you is know? from us out of my own basement in my own studio which is really not much of a studio. It gives us what money can buy. We put together what we have. But people like it. People want to hear it. And we're going to give the people what they want to no. hear. Um, we can't air this on public television or anything no, like that. No because Oh, hell no. Uh, um, but our TV it, show is PG. Yes. Because uh, there is no swearing in it. It's New all Hampshire, edited. New Hampshire Ghost Stories is the same way. It's all edited. There's no swearing. But this, this is hardcore. This is, we tell it like it is. We give you what you want. And... You know? I guess we do what we gotta do. We do what we gotta do. So. So, I guess, uh, unless you got anything else, I'm thinking it might be a wrap. It might be a wrap. So, keep an eye on us for Saturday, December 5th. Yep. On downtown Elm Street in Manchester. Uh, we will be out there, you know, supporting our, our team and supporting the city by going downtown. And if there's anybody out there that wants to meet us, just look for our truck. Yep. Um, We'll and, be done. Well, go ahead. And, sorry. And last but not least, if if for some reason you can't make it to the parade, and you have something going on that you would like New Hampshire Paranormal, you know, to investigate, leave us, you know, your comments, you know, private message the page. Let us know where you're at. What would do? Get a hold of the founder, and uh, we'll do what we can to come out and help you. But hopefully, we'll see you all downtown. Um, on Saturday. Yeah, we're going to do a lot with the city. So we're going to do what we can. Um, pretty soon you'll be seeing us out there more. Um, even though we go out and hunt ghosts and do all that other stuff, we work with the community. Um, hopefully pretty soon we can start helping out people, you know, by raising money and doing things and doing charity events. We're going we're gonna to do, we're gonna do a lot this summer coming yes. up. You will see us downtown at Arms Park this summer as well when they do all the little TV shows and the other stuff that they you do. You know, and I'm even going to talk to Sarah downtown um, this summer where we can actually get up and talk on the stage or one of us can actually get up and talk on the stage. Raffles or something like Raffles, that. Raffles, do something. Um, 
and all that good stuff. Yeah. You know, she opened it last year, but we had just gone in there at the very last minute. Mm -hmm. So it really wasn't worth getting up on stake because it was only, what, like two yeah. weeks to it. So we're going to be having some so, gear made soon. Yep. Um, and we're going to have gear for people that want to buy the gear for them. The shirts will be different. Yeah. Um, they won't be like our shirts, but we're going to, there'll be NHPA and New Hampshire Ghost Story logoed shirts. Yep. And if um, I'm correct, hey, that'll probably be after the new year. Not sure when, but yeah, we're working on getting all this stuff done so that yep. way we can actually, you know, if you want a shirt, you can buy a shirt. They're not going to be that expensive. No, uh, anywhere depending on the sizes. I mean, they'll run anywhere from seven fifty to twelve dollars. So I mean, the shirts will be pretty cheap. Um, yep. If you want sweaters and stuff like that, that's where they're going to be more expensive. Anywhere between twenty-five to forty dollars. Yeah, if we sell them, um, but. We'll have stickers, we have business cards, we'll have everything that we need to try and get done over the winter. Absolutely. So that way when we're out there, you know, we can, you know, and some of that money, some of this merchandise that we're going to be selling yep. is half of it's going to go to charity. And the rest of it's just going to buy more products so that we can sell more. I have a question for you. This is an idea. I just thought of it. And I know it's kind of off topic a little bit, but... What if we did, let's say we go somewhere, I'm not going to say anywhere, but let's just say we go somewhere and we want to do like a vlog right there. Not a, not a big vlog, but just like, hey, this is where we're at. Blah, da, 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 da. New Hampshire Ghost Stories does that. Yeah? Okay. I want to say that's what I thought. That's New Hampshire Ghost Stories. We, we're right here. Bang. Yeah, that's what I thought. But, but if we're going to talk wanna... live somewhere, be downtown in Manchester. Like if we're going to throw a charity event in Manchester, Ooh. we will be down there recording the event. Ooh. So we will do that live. We will keep you posted and do that stuff. I don't know about getting it on live screen, but we'll record it live for us and put it on our wall. Yeah, absolutely. It'll show you that we're down there and we're actually working with the community. Um, we're, we're not a big company. No. Um, we're Like I said, we've been doing this. will be our third year. Um, it takes time. I know a lot of teams out there and a lot of groups out there want big and better right away. But the way I see it, if you want that right away, you're going to crash right away. Yep. If you sit back, relax, take in everything you need to learn and show what the people want you to do. And then you ask the people ask you to do things, yes. then that's when it's your time. So we're going to do it slowly. You know, we got a lot. We got a lot of things going for us. We got too many pages for us right now. Right. And our plates are full. Believe it or not. Um, so <laughs> if we're gonna rush everything, something's gonna go wrong. Yeah. So, but I think we're gonna call this a night. I think we are. Uh, I just want to say one last thing uh, from my family. I wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Yes. A Happy New Year, and be safe out there. And uh, from me. Uh, I will see you next year. Yeah, NHPA wishes everybody and New Hampshire Ghost Stories. Yes. Everybody a, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy and New Year. And Imports Media, New Hampshire Paranormal Media, same thing. Stay safe out there. Uh, don't drink and drive. And if you if you have no one to take you home this season, please call a friend. Doesn't need a driver. Yeah, save a life. All Even right. cabs out there too are giving free rides on on New Year's. I do believe they're still doing that. Yeah. So. Anyway, guys, have a good Christmas. This Happy is, New Year. This is Eric and Chuck, and this is NHP Vlog. We are out, and we'll see you after the New Year. Happy New Year, guys. We're out.